סך הכל הייתי, ינה היה בעצם החבר הכי טוב שלי שבע שנים. חמש שנות חברות מדהימות ושנתיים של נישואים. אז יצאנו לקניות, ינאי נטע, הבת שלנו, שהייתה אז בת ארבעה חודשים, התחיל שורה לפנינו. וברגע ששמענו את הצעקה, נהיה שקט מוחלט בסופר. ינאי הסתובב לראות שאני בסדר, וידעתי שברגע שנטע תהיה בעצם בידיים שלי, ינאי כבר לא יהיה לידי והוא ירוץ לראות מה הוא יכול לעזור. And he made a decision to jump forward without any weapons on him, no protective gear, but he knew that he needed to stop this terrorist. And with his bare hands, he struggled against a terrorist and another terrorist came and stabbed him in the back, but he stopped him. And the tragedy was that he paid with his life for this. <laughs> אז אני נולדתי במעלה מחמש. ככה אני יודעת שזה היה נושא שנורא קרוב לינאי. אז חשבנו להקים ביישוב שבו גדלנו פינה חמה לחיילים. And that is a theme that we hear over and over and over again in Yehuda and Shemona in particular, in Israel in general. When something bad happens, and bad things do happen, how do we make the world a better place in the memory of that person, and then how do we in some way reconcile what happens? The Pinachama is a home away from home for these soldiers. It's air conditioned, it's inside. There's a person, a human being they can talk to, like a mother. The point of the Pinachama is to show the soldiers in the area that we care about them. And the Pinachama is to say thank you with a smile, with a cup of coffee, with a yummy piece of cake. When you have a soldier that knows that after a really difficult, long tour, and he wasn't allowed to move for the last four hours, and he had to be laser-focused on protecting the people that he is assigned to protect. And now he is tired, and he is hungry, and he's thirsty. When they get that little bit of a warm embrace back, what it does for them is immeasurable. It empowers them, it motivates them, it helps them so much. They think it's unbelievable. That People that they don't know are leaving things for them just because they're in the army, just because they care for us, and just because we care for them. Before two years, we came to the Pinachama for the soldiers who are in Gizrat Hebron. I think that we are going to continue the work of the holy saints who are here. Abraham Avinu taught us that we need to do the work of the soldiers. And the soldiers that are in the soldiers who are not the soldiers who are in the house, they come to us on the Sabbath on the Sabbath on the Sabbath. Here in, in Hebron, in Judea and Samaria, uh, the sovereign is the military sovereign of the IDF. And therefore, you have a lot of 18-year-old, 19-year-old, 20-year-old guys and gals uh, patrolling these places, protecting these places. If you're in the army, you come here. They come from all over the country, and they get a taste of uh, Gush Etzion hospitality when they come and get their cold drinks and hot coffee. It's all uh, prepared by volunteers who give of their time, and it's really about learning uh, about the residents here and getting to experience who they are firsthand. Coming in here and seeing the smiles on the Chaylim's faces, you know the amazing thing that you're doing. You feel the love from the Chaylim. יש לנו פה חיילים מהצפון ומהדרום, וחיילים שהדעות שלהם לא כל כך כמו הדעות שלנו, וזה לא מעניין אותנו, מעניין אותנו רק דבר אחד, לתת להם מכל הלב. We feel as though we've actually achieved what we set out to achieve by calling ourselves the Pina Chama, Cozy Corner. The soldiers call us the Dodot, the Antes, so they feel at home. We also have sons in the army, and uh, we wish that our sons would be located in a place where there was a Pina Chama, where people would care for them and care about them. It's easy enough to do. Um, in, in all over the country, they should be able to feel this. The Chaylim should feel this. So it's really important to have Pina Chama throughout the country. Those of us who live in Yudav Shomron really believe that we inspire the rest of Israel. And this is one of those ways that we can do that. We set up something good here. Let's take it around. So now that other people are learning from this and trying to build other Pinot Hamot as an organization, we feel we need to be there. It pains me to think that there aren't Pinot Hamot everywhere in the country. We have soldiers all over the country, and uh, we, we just love our soldiers, and we, we want to say thank you. Thank you, soldiers. 
אז בעצם קרן ישראל אחת שמעה על הפרויקט שאנחנו רוצים לעשות וככה פעלה והשיגה לנו תורמים שתורמים לנו בעצם את המבנה עצמו. I was able to call and tell her that we're well on the way. Um, we got a donation that was uh, sufficient to be able to build the actual physical structure of the Pina Haman. And hopefully, as an organization, we'll be able to continue to support it. So it's a befitting tribute to her husband, the true hero of Israel. Thank you very much to the Karen and to the Tormim, 